welcome to this week's episode of ESI Insights, sponsored by African Utility Week. This week covers wind energy, jobs and trade unions. Let's take a closer look. Recently, wind energy experts met in Cape Town to discuss this technology's future in the energy mix. Sadly, discussion traversed the South African landscape, even though countries such as Kenya and Morocco have made progress as well. South Africa now has 25 wind farms and more on the way, which opens the market to explore a wind manufacturing industry and maintenance services to existing farms. The South African Wind Energy Association has managed to extract a commitment from industry in terms of job creation. However, this can't be developed in any meaningful way by looking at South Africa in isolation. Meanwhile, pushback on renewables is already underway from an unlikely quarter in the country. NUM representing mine workers and NUMSA representing metal workers in South Africa have called for scrapping of IPP projects and specifically renewable energy development. Their views are that these pose a major threat to their members' livelihoods as IPPs and renewables don't present as many job opportunities. It's a relevant concern, however, they are also calling for axing of ESCOM's board and CEO, stating that the trade unions are best positioned to run state-owned utilities. Is this postulating by trade unions an attempt to remain relevant in the energy market as ESCOM examines unbundling its monopoly? Share your thoughts on these trending stories with us on social media. That's all for this week's episode of ESI Insights, sponsored by African Utility Week. Thank you for watching.